What is going on guys? In today is a very special episode. I'm on my way to Dick's Sporting Goods to pick up two new fishing poles. Now, I'm headed to Dick's with an open mind. I really don't know what I'm gonna buy yet. Um, I know I want fishing rods, but I have no idea what brand or anything like that. And I don't want to spend over $50 per rod. I know I need to buy like two rods, but I want to buy two rods for about $100. And the reason I'm going to buy two new fishing poles is because I have four reels that don't have a rod to them. Technically five, but I need more rods <laughs> because I'm tired of just bringing like one or two fishing poles with me because those are like my only two good ones. So if I buy these two new rods, I'll have two new combos that I can bring with me at all times. And hopefully that'll help me catch more fish and make better videos. All right guys, so I did pick up my two rods, but unfortunately, I got kicked out of Dick Sporting Goods. I walked in there holding my good camera and I think it was a manager. He was like, uh, what are you doing with that? Is that a camera? Are you filming? And I was like, well, I'm not filming, I'm gonna be. And he was like, yeah, well, there's no filming in here. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. And I'm like, there's we, cause you said were. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what that was, but anyway, I didn't say anything. I just left, put my camera back in the car and walked back in there and picked up two new fishing rods. And I cannot wait to show you my two new rods. All right guys, the first rod I bought was this 13 Fishing Defy Black Rod. This rod was $60, but I mean, I thought it looked pretty nice and I needed a rod, like a treble hook rod, like for, spooks or jerk baits or crank baits stuff like that and this is it, it's rated medium heavy but it feels more like a medium so it'll be perfect for that the other rod I picked up was this Berkeley lightning rod and I've never really seen this kind of lightning rod before I don't know if this is a new model or not but this was only forty dollars and this one is beefy it's rated medium heavy but this one feels like a heavy and that is exactly what I wanted I already have enough medium heavy rods I wanted a medium rod and I wanted a heavy rod and both of these are rated medium heavy but they both have way different actions and I do have to say something I love this fake cork handle I know I might get some slack for saying that but I really, I don't know, I just really like the color of it, I really like the feel of it, and I know it's fake cork, it's not real cork, but that is okay with me. I really like this fake stuff. And this is where I'm going to be fishing today. It's the Merrimack River, and I picked this spot because it's close to my house, and I know it's pretty snaggy here, so my chances of catching a fish go up pretty high. Now, I've caught so much pickerel this year, as you guys know, and where I'm fishing right now is rocky and snaggy. It's not shallow and it's not grassy, it's not weedy, so hopefully there's not going to be that much pickerel. Hopefully there's going to be bass. Alright guys, I made it out onto the water. Water looks really nice actually. It's a little bit windy, a little bit cold, but I brought that one rod with me today. I'm going to try out my 13 fishing defy rod in a later video, just because I don't really have the time today to test out two rods. So. Today, I'm just testing out the Berkeley Lightning Rod. What I'm gonna be doing today is, because I don't have a lot of time, is snag hopping. I'm just, be, I'm just gonna be going from snag to snag, throwing a couple casts. I'll be honest with you guys, I do like the weight of this rod already. It does have a good weight to it. I don't like too light of rods, because then they seem like breakable and fragile. But this one has just the right amount of weight to it good balance to it so for forty dollars I'm already kind of impressed I need to get closer to the bank 
I think if I can get closer to the bank, I'll be out of this wind. And I won't be pushed down river so quickly. I don't know how my camera is making it seem like it's so bright out right now. <laughs> it's not very bright, I can tell you that much. My God. What was that? Guys, I don't know what that was. It looked like a fall fish or a trout. But it looked too big to be that. Got him. Spit my hook. Wasn't anything crazy big, but here's a large mouth, and I definitely would have taken him. He's about a pound and a half. That's all right, first bite of the day. Got one, finally. What is it? It's a bass. There we go. Ooh, wow, this is a chunky bass. All right, first fish of the day on this new rod. Handled it with ease, very sensitive. Just felt a little tap. Set the hook and he was on. All right, guys, that was the first bass of the day. My uh, good camera actually died. So um, my chest mount is the best view you guys are gonna get, unfortunately, of that, but I mean, I'm sure you've guys seen a largemouth bass before, so. Missed another one, but whatever it was, it was tiny. Got him. Oh, <laughs> that's probably what I've been getting is rock bass. Now, this is not my personal best rock bass, but this is definitely a chunk rock bass. You can tell this guy's a sight feeder too, just because his eyes are so big. But that, I'm assuming is the fish that's been like tapping my bait real quickly. I actually caught him on one, one claw too. I only got one claw on this jig. All right guys, it's getting pretty dark. I'm gonna throw a couple more casts in this area here and then I'm gonna head home.